In this video, we are going to code the basic logic behind our UI for the inventory so that we can open it up as well as we can fill it in with the number of slots that we pass to it from our inventory controller script that we are going to start coding to test our inventory system. Okay, let's get going. Okay, we have created our UI preset. First of all, maybe let's create an, uh, a prefab out of our inventory page, just to be sure that we can reuse it in other scenes in Unity. Uh, the main idea here is that our inventory content cont will contain inside the scroll view inside the content, the item UI elements. Those will represent one item each uh, from the inventory. The obvious idea here is that we are going to have a list of items inside our inventory. So basically we are going to transfer this list by creating multiple uh, item UI objects inside our inventory window. And we are going to be able to track this way what is the index of this object. Because basically this is one thing that we need to track. The index of this object uh, of this UI element will represent the index of the element inside the list of our inventory. This way our UI doesn't necessarily need to know about this list, but if it knows it's indexed, we can ensure that the inventory uh, uh, controller will simply say uh, number three contains something, but the previous ones are empty. So if we select our item UI element, we can simply disable the border as well as disable the image and set the um, this background uh, text background image to be empty or actually uh, we can disable this whole object and this will be how our empty objects will look like and that's how we are going to uh, reset those uh, through the code and if we want to select our image we can uh, enable the image if we want to select our object we can simply enable the border Basically, this is the idea and we need to now code this logic as well as we will simply clear this text here and the image here in the description. And when we have selected one image, we are going to show this description here. So let's start creating some code behind this logic. Let's go to our scripts folder and I'm going to right click create a UI folder. And let's right click create C sharp script. Uh, I tend to call my scripts UI something, so I'm going to call this UI inventory page. But of course, since this is inside the UI folder, we should uh, we could skip this first prefix UI. Anyhow, this will be our inventory page script. Let's go to our inventory prefab and let's add this inventory page script onto this prefab. Okay, there was some assembly loading and great, this is it. Now let's open this script and let's create some code. Now, if you have any trouble opening your script editor, I have set in the edit uh, pre uh, preferences, you can uh, select your code editor. I had a writer set in my project, so you may have this set as well, but select uh, Visual Studio, whichever uh, code editor you are using. And now you should be able to uh, open the script. Okay, great. Now, we cannot really use uh, alone this UI inventory page because one thing that we need to have is the reference to our item prefab and another is the reference to the rect transform which is the content of our inventory panel. Now, the item uh, prefab can be a game object but we still need to have some custom class for it. So I have called it UI inventory item, let's copy it, let's go back to Unity and we are going to create simply another right click create C sharp class and I'm going to create UI inventory item. Okay, this will be added to each of our item UI. So let's go to the prefab and let's drag here our UI inventory item. Okay, great. Let's reopen our UI inventory page. So now we have our reference to the item prefab. Now to store the indices of each item of our UI, we are going to create a simple list of UI inventory items, list of UI items equals a new list. Here we are going to store the reference to each item that we create so that going by this list, we are going to be able to get the index and reference it against the inventory data that we are going to have, uh, we are going to create soon. Since our UI inventory page doesn't know anything about our inventory system, we need to assume that we are going to have some inventory size and we need to be able to initialize our inventory UI. So let's create public void initialize inventory UI that takes in int inventory size and we are going to simply loop for 
i equals zero so we can create four and to click tab twice to create this loop and we're going to create a loop for i equals zero to i less than inventory size and we're going to create a new ui inventory item using our prefab ui item equals instantiate item prefab vector 30 identity. we're going to set ui item transform parent to be our content panel reference that we have at the top and we're going to add it to a list this should create for us a number of uh, items inside our inventory now beside this we also want to be able to show and hide our inventory page so we are going to have a public void show game object set active true and public void hide uh, game object set active false having those methods as well as the way to initialize our inventory we can now create a very simple inventory controller to create our inventory uh, items as well as to show and hide our inventory so let's save this let's go back to unity okay you can ignore the warning this doesn't uh, isn't important for this tutorial what we can do now is to create a separate script that will control our ui now one issue that we might have that is that our in-game menu is a separate panel and our inventory is the panel that contains the ui inventory page script so this will be hidden but the main panel in the game will stay uh, will appear so while it has the image component disabled we may want to disable raycast target but basically uh, the idea was that our inventory might be one of many pages in our uh, game menu so basically we may want to hide the whole in-game menu instead of only the inventory but if the in-game menu is set the, the image is uh, disabled and the raycast target is disabled it should not interfere uh, with our game but basically this would be the idea anyhow we can now disable and enable our inventory system uh, we need to uh, assign to the ui inventory page the item prefab so let's select our prefabs item ui and the content panel which in uh, let's actually go to our prefab we can assign here the U item ui and we can assign to our content panel uh, the uh, scroll view view content this will be the content for our inventory so let's assign to our content uh, the content track transform as the uh, content panel and let's delete the our uh, item ui that exists in our ui let's go back let's select our canvas inventory let's select overrides and let's revert all so we destroy all the existing items we could of course do it from the level of the script let's go to our scripts let's right click create another script and we are going to call it inventory controller okay now we may want to call it something more specific like inventory ui controller since we may want to have multiple of those controllers like inventory shop controller and so on let's open this controller script up okay we are going to delete the start and update methods and i'm going to create a serialized field ui inventory page inventory ui let, let me call it private just for the sake of being clear what it is okay so now we are going to have the dependency inside our controller onto the ui and onto the uh, inventory system or inventory model that we are going to create soon now to test our script we may want to create an update method that simply checks input.get key down key code i have selected i as the key to open and close the inventory and we are going to check if inventory ui is active and enabled false we are going to show it else we are going to hide it now if in your game you want to freeze time this will not work you will need to have a custom button in your inventory to hide the inventory and reset the time but for the simplicity let's keep this code and what we want to do as well is we want to create a start method since our inventory ui needs to be initialized so let's create some int uh, maybe public int temporary val uh, value of the inventory size and let's just set it to be 10 for example so what we want to do is call inventory ui dot initialize inventory ui and we want to pass it the inventory size uh, as the value now of course later we may want to take it from our inventory model or our inventory scriptable object that is assigned to our player okay with this done let's test our logic so let's save our script and let's go back to unity okay I'm going to select my player v2 object and I'm going to minimize all the components here 
what I want to do is drag here our inventory controller and assign our inventory uh, reference, inventory UI reference to the field here. And what I want to do as well is I want to select our UI and for now, maybe let's simply disable it. Okay, let's test our game. Let's press play. And we are going to see now that our screen is maximized. We can press I and we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items were created for us. Great. In the next video, we are going to take care of coding the logic to reset the uh, items here as well as to reset the description. And we are going to step by step implement some logic to control this UI. It will take probably three or four videos to finish the code behind the UI itself. Okay, see you in the next video.